I can't even imagine having to leave this. My wife said that no more off-grid wants to sell and do something different. So I thought I'd come down here and walk the path that I've cut in the woods. <clears throat> Actually, I just made it so I can make a complete circle. It's not the way I want. I'd rather go the other direction. I'm going to walk the circle with you, but I'd rather go the other direction, but there's so many rocks in this area. You know, we live on a kind of a mountaintop here in Missouri, and everything's rocks. I mean, just everywhere you go, just huge rocks pop out of the ground. So I wasn't able to go that direction that I wanted to go, but I still got a circle, so it makes it kind of nice to walk around the property. I really like this property. It's only an acre and a half, but it's, it's more than I think I would ever need. We got all the wooded area, half the property is wooded, half the property is not. You know, we got the house and the camper and the chickens and the truck camper up there on that cleared off portion. This is just a perfect setup. And there's enough firewood here to last, I think I thought 30 years. I can't remember, I counted all the trees, but of course you got regrowth. And within those 30 years, those trees would grow big enough you could use those as well. So here's my example. Uh, of the path I wanted to cut so I ended up going this direction and I still hit a, a fence I didn't know there was a fence here this way there is a, a circle on we'll take it but I wanted to go this way if I could have done this I could have circled all the way around this came back around and then taken that path but the boulders here are just outrageous you can see them they're everywhere and there was no way to dodge them what I've noticed about people is their goals change, their dreams change, or they never do change, but they never actually do anything to accomplish their dreams and then complain that life hasn't been fair to them. This is an off-grid channel and it's a very seasonal channel. Right now, we're on the downward slope of the season, quite expected. It'll pick back up probably in September is my guess. It actually has done better than it has in the last couple of years. Just like all channels, they're all seasonal. You know, if you got a holiday channel, your channel is around Christmas. My channel, people watch when there's nothing else to do. And they sit around dreaming about owning a place like this. And they comment regularly, telling me how they want to live this dream. And what do we need to do to make this happen? How do I find property? And I always have a set list of criteria that you got to do first before you think about buying property. You got to get debt free. You got to stop spending money. People always want to say, say oh, I got to make more money. I don't make enough money. You make plenty of money. Just stop spending. Carol and I make nothing. I mean, we just we live off YouTube income. It's very seasonal work. And we, we really don't make much money at all good portion of our money has to go to taxes because we're self-employed. $40,000 for me is a little different than $40,000 for you because when it's taxes, I have to pay self-employment tax, which is basically Social Security. Your Social Security that you pay, you pay 7%. The employer pays 7%. It's actually 7.5%. I have to pay the full 15% called self-employment tax. A lot of people, you know, all these tax experts will come onto my channel and tell me, oh no, you're doing something wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. I've taken my taxes to tax experts who clearly show that you got to pay self-employment tax. So they're not tax experts. They just think they know everything. I've got an accounting degree and I've been doing accounting for 50 years and you shouldn't be paying more than everybody else. Yeah, you do. So my point is, is if I, well, I don't make 40000 which is the number I threw out. The reason I said 40000 my last job I had was well, no, maybe it was a little higher than that, but regardless, 40000 And the thing about that last job was, is I was in debt up to my eyeball. I was making really good money in my mind, but at the end of the week, I didn't have anything left over. Everything went to credit cards. Everything went to going out to eat and spending money and not the last apartment I lived in, but the apartment before that, this was most my previous wife. We lived in one of the richest towns in St. Louis in an apartment. In a third floor apartment, it was beautiful, had a big balcony in a wooded area, nice park next to us. We just spent money hand over fist. The thing is, is I don't think we had any goals in mind. I think that might have been 
what our problem was. That's why, you know, one of the things I should say that we didn't work out. We didn't have any goals. We didn't have any dreams. We just went to work, spent money. You know, she liked having guitars. That was a nice hobby for her. So we spent money on guitars. I mean, she had a lot of fancy guitars and I had firearms. Of course, all the preppers out there, you gotta have firearms and the world's coming. Well, yeah, maybe. But even if you're a big end of the world type of person, you should be able to get away with having one, maybe two, possibly three. I know when I was into that end of the world stuff and I was gung ho, most of my guns wrapped around the 357 Magnum. So I had two revolvers that were 357 Magnum and I had a rifle that was a 357 Magnum that I could deer hunt with. It was a nice rifle. I didn't have to spend a lot of money on guns. But there are some people who will just have gun over gun over gun and then try to figure out how to ammo all that stuff and just spend money and spend money and spend money. But this is a time of year where people have gotten locked up in the house all winter and now they want to go out and do stuff. We just had a big parade. We live in an unincorporated town not in the town we live outside the town but the town's not that far away from us so the unincorporated town got some of the fire departments around the area and they had a parade oh and there were people everywhere having a good time you know spending money there was a flea market and that flea market was just non-stop people going in and out going in and out and there was nothing in the flea market i didn't spend anything but then I mean, people were coming out with arms and fools and going back and forth to get more. And I, I wonder, did they really need that junk? I mean, there wasn't nothing in there. A lot of it was just crafts. Don't get me wrong. It's great that there are entrepreneurs out there selling crafts. But if you're really wanting to, to focus on a dream, you got to stop buying the crafts from people. And then, of course, there's the barbecues. I remember back in maybe 2001, 2000, maybe it was Right around there, 2000, 2001, somewhere around there. I invited an entire family over. Cousins, second cousins, a lot of people. It was 4th of July and we bought everything. People kept asking us, what do they want us to bring? Nothing, we got it all covered. If you uh, Bring your drinks, if you want a drink, bring your drinks. But other than that, we got it covered. And of course, they came out with cooler fools of alcohol. And even back then, alcohol wasn't cheap. I spent $500 on fireworks, and from what I could tell, I mean, I didn't see it because I was busy lighting all the fireworks. Apparently, it was a really nice display. It should have been. I mean, it was. I spent a lot of money on it. So think about it, maybe $1,000. And what did I get out of that? Well, I have a memory of getting in an argument with one of my family members. What did that accomplish? I don't think it accomplished anything. Just bad feelings. Never spoke to that person for the rest of her life. That's a shame. I spent all that money to have a family gathering just so I could not speak to a person for the rest of my life. But we do, we have people going out and barbecuing, coolers full of beer. And I tell you, I know everybody thinks I'm a prude when I say this, but Carolyn and I don't drink. We don't smoke. Now I know that when I smoked, I could justify the cigarette cost in hundred ways. I even got to where I was rolling my own, not rolling. Uh, you can buy these tubes with the filters on them and then you buy this machine you can pack the tobacco into it. Of course, that was a savings. I'm saving money. <laughs> Think about what I just said. I'm saving money. I wasn't saving money. I was spending it on something I didn't really need in the first place. How's that a savings? Look, people, I'm going to go out and buy this thing. It's on sale. What do you need it for? I don't know. I might need it one of these days. I'm saving money. You're not saving money. You're spending money. Saving money means don't spend. I can't convince people of that. And then they want to buy the fanciest stuff all the time. I get this in the comment section regularly. You know, we got to buy something better than what we have. Right now, we have a system through and through that works. The water system, the electric system, the tiny house, all of it but we got to have something better i remember when we were looking for this camper we wanted to spend well we wanted to spend under a thousand bucks what we wanted to spend i'll be honest uh, people were telling me to buy a, a shed from home depot now i recognize 
I have advocated that if you want to live in a tiny house and you don't know how to build things, maybe you could get a shed from Home Depot. And they're about $5,000. So the same price as what we built ours for. But I never said anything about buying a second tiny house. I, that would have been five times the cost, over five times the cost, of what we were wanting to spend on the camper. But uh, people just want to spend money. And then, of course, you know, the camper comes with stuff. It comes with the toilet and lights. It comes with things that you need in it. Tiny house from Home Depot or Shed does not. That means you got to install it all. So you spend $5,000 and then you install water and plumbing and insulation. Granted, the uh, I'm stuck in a thorny bush. I apologize. Granted, the uh, camper doesn't have great insulation, but at least it has walls inside. <laughs> Just spend money to be spending money. And then the one that always gets me is got to get a new car everybody's buying new cars all the time i was saying i was guilty i don't know if i was quite as guilty but i was guilty i'm not going to make too many excuses i had to drive for business i own my own consulting company and i had to drive most all over the midwest lived in missouri went up to minnesota and michigan wisconsin went to indiana a few times illinois iowa and all over Missouri and we, so I just I was constantly driving so I was running up mileage pretty high on these cars I'd buy one of these cheap little cars you know Cavalier and a Cobalt they don't even sell those anymore you get about 100,000 miles and they were done fortunately you could write this stuff on taxes so it was a write-off but that being said my ex-wife my wife at the time she had a new truck did we really need a new truck no so you always in debt with vehicles and for what we i bought this truck 2015 so what is it eight years now it's got 80,000 miles on it and that's the nice thing about living off grid is we just don't drive that much so 80,000 miles hopefully it'll last two three hundred thousand miles i i know people are going to disagree with this but i only change the oil when that little meter on these new vehicles tell me to change the oil it's got a percentage meter on it and i haven't changed the oil in over a year on the truck it's down to nine percent now so i just bought some oil so that tells you how little we drive this truck now i know like i said people are going to disagree oh you're supposed to change that every six months well i just don't agree with that i think it's a waste of money i think it's a way for people companies to make money so they just throw that stuff out but as long as you get the mileage correct then you should be fine or the percentages i actually had an expert tell me that it's okay to change it when the percentages are due not when the time is due and so this time of year the reason my channel doesn't do well is because people are out playing now all winter long people are telling me i wish i could do what you're doing i just don't have the money and i don't i can't do it you know i'm broke and uh, and then they want to go out and have somebody do rent to own or finance it for them. So they can't find property as cheap as mine. And the reason they can't find property as cheap as mine is because they want it financed. People are wanting you to default on that. You pay two or three years and all of a sudden don't pay. They come and get your property back and they still keep all your money. That's a pretty good deal for them. Not so good for you. So you got to get debt free and save your money you know stop drinking stop smoking i know don't tell me to stop drinking that's a bunch of bull i hear it all the time but if you want to live your dream then you got to do these things carolyn and i did and I, i'm told all the time i don't agree with everything you say well how do you not agree with everything i say i have literally done it if you're telling me that Drinking is going to put you closer to living off grid or smoking. I'll use smoking. I should use smoking because I actually quit smoking. Well, I quit drinking too, but I didn't drink heavily. I never was a big fan. I didn't see the purpose. I don't see the purpose of smoking either, but I got addicted to that. But spending money on stuff that you don't need, like alcohol and cigarettes, isn't getting you any closer to your dream. Going out and barbecuing, no closer. This is the dream right here. If you, this is what you're wanting, this is the dream. Not the barbecue, 
the barbecue is just entertainment. When you get here, you can entertain yourself every day just walking around the property. It's a beautiful thing. So I was told the other day by someone, my wife won't let me live off grid. They, they bought a piece of property and she said, no, we're not doing it. And he said, I want you to make a video. Tell me or tell my wife why she needs to live off grid. And I won't do that because you married your wife. Your wife is your goal. Your wife is your dream. Your wife is who you are. Carolyn is my wife. We had the same goals in mind and we haven't changed our mind about what our goals are. And which is a big difference from what my last wife and I had and what we have. We didn't have goals. We didn't have anything. Carolyn and I have goals, common goals, and we got everything. So if you click this up next box, take you to a video where I was talking about Carolyn is mad. So if I can inspire you to live your dreams, not your entertainment. Thanks for watching.